everyone. It's your light skin, the delicious bombshell, Mashika coming at y'all today. And today I'm coming at y'all with a dish that I'm going to be preparing for my personal dinner tonight, which is corgis with sauteed okra, tomatoes and onions. And I'm going to add for a little, you know, sauce over my fish. It's going to be Spanish style tomato sauce right here a can of that and for my rice I made a pot of grandules <laughs> seasoned yellow rice with grandules that's what I made so stay tuned okay and sorry for the glare in the background that's my kitchen light so what I'm going to do right now is try to turn this cam, webcam to the stove so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. I hope that's situated better. A little better. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this back pot I have going on right here, I'm going to... sauteing my okra <clears throat> and then here are my porgies which I had marinating in the refrigerator four little porgies and what I'm going to do with these I'm just going to put them in a little bit of flour over here excuse me while my pan is heating up so I'm going to shake it up a little bit I bought this fish at a local um, fish market. I was out running errands today, you guys, and I just felt like I needed some fish. So I haven't had any in a long time, um, but it was kind of cheap. <laughs> so it was like $2.99 a pound or something like that. Yeah. So I got it. Okay, so my pan should be hot enough now. So I'm going to add a little oil to this pan. This is vegetable oil. And I'm going to heat up this pan as well. What is wrong with this? I cleaned my stove the other day, so I guess I kind of did something to it. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I have enough oil. I don't think I'm going to. I better. That is not enough oil. So be trying to fry these little fish a little bit. I just want to get a little fry on it <clears throat> before I add it to it. It's ready. So I'm going to put the okra in there first because it may take a little longer to cook. The okra, tomatoes, and onions. So I just cut them in half, so they look like that. I just want to make sure my okra gets cooked well. Okay. I 
so that's why I'm using the tomato, um, the tomato sauce because that's gonna soften it up as well. for a minute. Now, <clears throat> over here I have my fish that I shook up and just some plain flour. See? Can you see where are you? Yeah, this is just some plain flour and I'm going to try to get a little browning on it. See if I could get two in this pan because I only have four. Don't have much oil. I'm not gonna mess with it. Let it sit. Let it do its thing. with some lemon juice that's usually what I do sometimes I use lemon juice and a little bit of vinegar and some ice cold water that's how I do it but I didn't have any vinegar you know even if the fish is fresh sometimes it does have a little fishy smell to it not a nasty funky smell but I like to use a little bit of vinegar and lime juice lemon juice or lemon and lime, whatever. <laughs> and this is what it's looking like. I want to see. That's the okra and the tomatoes, and this is the fish. Once it gets good enough for me to flip it, I'll do that. Sorry. I didn't really want to move it. <laughs> and this is a meal that I'm going to be having for myself. So I'm going to have leftovers because my kids do not eat this. They are so finicky. That fish smells so good, y'all. So, so good. So my okra and my <laughs> tomatoes and onions cooking down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in, so I don't need much of that, but just a little bit. And for my yellow rice, I didn't have chicken bouillon cubes, so I use these jumbo. What is it? I don't know if this is beef stock or what. Let me see. They just say jumbo bouillon cubes. That's it. So that's usually what I put in my rice when I want seasoned rice. These right here. Didn't say enough, <laughs> tender enough. 
So I'm going to open up one of these um, Spanish style tomato sauces. Just one can. see my fish is coming along just right I flipped it over on the other side and um, <clears throat> just waiting for this side to cook I added my tomato sauce to my okra my tomatoes and my onion and that's simmering over there time to fry it on okay. Croker is pretty good fish, but it just has a lot of small bones in it. That's why my kids don't like it. They like the fish, but they just don't like the fact that it got a little bone. Did I say croker? I meant to say corgi. <laughs> to see if it's the way I want it. I turn it down so it can really get sore. Mmm. Mmm. That's a bomb. I'm going to show y'all what it look like. That's the okra, the onions, and the tomatoes. Mmm. That is so good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the fish and I'm going to fit it up there. <clears throat> is the fish which is the porgies 
and there is the okra and the tomato. I use the plum tomato and the onions. Isn't that lovely, y'all? And you know it's gonna be also delicioso. <laughs> And this is my meal for tonight, y'all. So now my son just confirmed. He says, hmm, let me get this off my hand. He says, Mommy, I want some of that. <laughs> Say, you want to taste it? Huh? It's a real fish. Yeah, it's a fish. And where you bought it? The fish market. Yes, y'all. So I just wanted to share my meal with you all, and if you guys like it, and you yeah, need to know the recipe, if you don't understand what I was saying, just leave a comment down below. And overall, if you like my channel, overall, please, you know, subscribe, way boo boo, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave some nice comments. Taylor, this girl just won't leave me alone. Show me her little Thanksgiving card. Let me finish, boo boo. Anyway, as I was saying, please rate my video, okay? Hit the thumbs up for all my dishes or any videos that you guys may like. And also subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment, okay? Thanks, peace, love, and happiness. And all y'all have a happy and wonderful Thanksgiving.